guys good morning okay so i'm going to go over a second paper for all of you this is um the here let me see if i can make this a little bit bigger okay we'll start we'll, we'll try this okay so this um is going to be the time to the hour digital version the front paper looks like this um, on the front of our paper, we have a picture of a digital alarm clock and it has two zeros here. I made another video that explains this side of the colon is the minutes. So if you are on this side, this represents the number of minutes. This side here is going to be the hour. So we've got a picture of a bedroom, we've got a little kitty cat, we've got some flowers, we've got some funky wallpaper. This is Amelia's bedroom. And Amelia wakes up every day at seven o'clock in the morning, at seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna put a seven here for the hour. Seven o'clock, double zero means it's the beginning of an hour and we say o'clock when it's the beginning of a new hour. So this is a picture, um, of a digital clock that shows seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, then we're gonna go to the back. It says, another type of clock is a digital clock. Here's a digital clock. A digital clock uses numbers to show the hour and minutes. So like I said, again, we have the hour here, we have the minutes here. Um, this clock or the clock shows two o'clock because we have a two in our hour. Sorry, Josh is vacuuming. I don't know if you can hear that. And then double zero again means it's the beginning of a new hour. It means o'clock. I'm going to switch to a pencil actually. So, um, hopefully you guys can still see. This says use a Judy clock to show the time, but we don't have one. So we're going to just tell what time is shown right the time on the digital clock so if you did 8.5 before this paper then you learned how to read a di um, an analog clock we remember that if the minute hand the long hand is pointing to the 12 the hour hand is pointing to the hour we look at the hour hand and say okay it's showing 11 o'clock because the minute hand is pointing to the double zeros i don't know if you can see that it's a little white 11 o'clock because my hour hand is pointing to the 11. Again, we have a minute hand pointing to the 12. That tells me it's o'clock. My hour hand is pointing down here to the six, so I'm gonna put six o'clock. For number three, this one's kind of a tricky one. I think the tricky ones are when um, your minute hand and your hour hand look like one line like this or like this. So I don't know if you agree with me, but I think these two can be confusing when um, the, the hands aren't really separate. Like these two kind of point in two totally different directions. Anyway, I can still see though that my minute hand is pointing to the 12. Um, and I can kind of hardly see that my hour hand is also pointing to the 12. So the hour is pointing to 12. And I still am going to put two zeros here. One thing that I think people sometimes um, do is they will write 12 and then they'll put another 12 here because it, it, it can just be kind of confusing when um, you have two hands both pointing to the 12. For this one here, my hour hand is pointing to the three, you can see right here. My minute hand is pointing to the 12. I'm just gonna give you a second. I want you to stop and think. If my hour hand is pointing to the three and my minute hand's pointing to the 12, okay, my hour is three. And when, again, the minute hand is pointing up here to the 12. I don't put 12, I put two zeros. Sorry, my alarm went off. Okay, so um, that is the front of this paper here. We're gonna flip it over to the beginning of your On My Own page. So you have two, four, six problems that I want you to do. Same exact thing. What I do is I go through 
my paper. And I, I just like to circle, um, you can either circle the hour hand or the minute hand, whatever, just makes it easier for you. But it just kind of helps me to, I, I like to circle the minute hand when, when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, only because it, it kind of reminds me not to worry about the minute hand. I can just write double zero for all of these. That's kind of why I like to do it. Maybe you want to circle the hour hand instead, and then that'll help you to remember to, to look at the hour and, and write the hour because we, we know that all of these are gonna be double zero minutes. So just do whatever is easier for you. But I, I like to do that in the beginning and, and um, it kind of helps me to see more clearly. So for number five, my hour hand is pointing to my eight. So I'm gonna write eight in my hour. My minute hand is pointing to my 12, which just means we're at the beginning of a new hour. So no minutes have passed, double zero minutes. And that is that. I want you guys to do the rest on your own if you can um, with your mom or your dad. Do these back two. They, they might need to kind of walk you through these two, read them to you. Remember, we don't really need to do this down here. Jeremy probably will do this because Jeremy always says <laughs> these ones down here. Um, and then the homework is just kind of extra practice. If you have time today or maybe another day, you can work on this homework. And that'll just help you guys be better at telling time. So that is time to the hour on a digital clock. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know. I love you guys. Have a good day. Good luck on your homework.